I'm getting pretty good at this. I mean, I think so. I remember back when I first encountered Tinker Bats and thought they were so hard to deal with. Actually, hold on. I mean, that was a long time ago. Wrong one. We have so many Shantae heart animal transformations. Hey. Oh, I see. When they explode, they explode lo Oh! Hey. Wait, what? It's not attaching to us. So it really does just want to be around us. Aww. That's cute. I feel bad for ever having thought ill of them now. Well, see you around, Starfishman. I'm sorry you had to die. You didn't deserve that. Well, I mean, she you go, like they go after Ashante when she's a crab because they think she's like a crab and that's like their prey. You can't blame them for that. They're just doing what they were built for, so to speak. Rowdy Tops, wait up! That lousy sky. No good bird brain made me walk all the way here. And I just changed legs last week. Don't be mad. I'm sure you'll find, uh, new, even better legs. Anyway, tell me about this monster the Hypno Baron is conjuring. Oh, the creature of unspeakable horror! I heard my brothers talking about it. I guess the Hypno Baron came to them for advice. Said he needed a creature evil enough to rip open the fabric of space time and wash away humankind in a sea of eternal woe, or something along those lines. My brothers told him how to summon the horror, and in exchange, we got a whole sack of Sequin Land Select Dark Almond Roast. You guys doomed humanity for a bag of coffee? Well, it was before 9 a.m., so. Alright. I'm going to find a way into the Hypno Baron's summoning chamber and stop his plan before it happens. Coolio, I'll watch the fireworks from here. You know that, that she made that... Wow! Yeah, Hypno Baron is up to even more old tricks than he used to be. His skeleton soldiers definitely are a little more neatly armored these days, too. Or not neatly armored, but well armored, I guess I should say. Hey, let's plow through! Oh. That's strange. I remember being able to just plow through these guys way better back when we were an elephant in uh, Risky's Revenge. Okay, you know what? You know what? This isn't working. Yeah, the issue is you can't charge them from the front because of the swords. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh-oh. Okay, we're not gonna get up there. Or up there, actually. We're gonna... There's what we're gonna do. Okay. Here's a plan. It was all for naught. Okay, let's try that again, but this time it'll work. At least that's the plan. Is working. Well, yeah, I don't think this is worth it. You know, some strategies just don't work. And that's all there is to it. But I would like to get to that pot. I have a feeling that, uh, you know, Risky and her... Or Risky. That Roddy Tops and her brothers did all this. But fully aware that Shantae was going to just come in and save the day later on. Oh, it's like some kind of gum girl. I remember her from the uh, Kickstarter campaign. She was a gum girl. Yeah, I remember that in the Kickstarter campaign they had some, like, fan-designed enemies. And, like, you know, if you designed them, you know, like, fans could, if they contributed a certain amount to design enemies. The gum girl was one of those. I'm sorry? Oh, it's spewing out ghost girls who are fall in love with Shantae on sight because Shantae is super cute. I should have known this chest was a little too easy to get to. Hey, ghost girl. I mean, I wonder if the ghost girl was another enemy the fans designed. It certainly strikes me as this sort of thing, but she actually fits in quite nicely. I almost feel bad, you know? I'm sure she had a life once, has a full story once, but all that's gone now. Being the Hypno Baron is taking advantage of her tormented soul as a to be security in his base. 
I'm not surprised. That's the sort of guy that Hypno Baron is. I mean, it's been a long time since we've seen that guy, that Hypno Baron. I do remember that during the Kickstarter, they said that, uh, level 5, I mean, said they wanted to incorporate him into this game because they felt that he had gotten short stick after, uh, uh the last one. After his last appearance in... You saw what happened when we went down there and let her, like, get near us. Don't get me wrong, she's a very cute dumb girl. So it's a shame that she's, you know, another evil monster. Um, let's climb up here first. This is a more labyrinthine sort of dungeon, what I'd expect from uh, the original Shantae. Oh! There we go. Okay, hey, Mr. Skello? You're not Skello! Anyway. Who's next? Oh! Run, run, run! Okay, now we're safe. After a... after a kind. You know, this floor is pretty tough being able to support the weight of an entire elephant. Okay, so it just kind of all looped together? Alright, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Chante does not seem to move substantially faster as a human than she did as a... What the? Abner! What's going on here? This place needs a poster. Like an awesome poster. Abner! Eh? Oh, it's the brain on legs. You got something for me? Coffee? Brains? Coffee with brains in it? Not really. Then get lost. You're a butt. You're a butt. So, why do you want a poster? Me and Bo are gonna take over this old castle. But I'm concerned about this wall right here. It's screaming for a poster. Some totally awesome blacklight poster. Um, well, if I happen to get a hold of a poster, I'll let you know, Abner. If I can find you here again. I mean, it's a pretty labyrinthine castle you're moving into, though. They have a good selection of books. I'm not surprised, Hypno Baron reads a lot. But somehow I expect that the Hypno Baron is mostly reading, not say, night. Uh, novels that are in, provide insight to the human condition, but more like, you know, grimoires, that kind of thing. Hey! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! There we go. You know, grimoires about how to, like, say, raise the dead, summon gum girls, that kind of thing. Yeah, these skeletons are definitely a lot more dynamic than the kind he used to keep around. Remember those old skeletons? Just chucking bones. Man, those gum girls really are so cute. Of course, everything is cute, but... Wait, is that fire hurting her? Yeah, I think it was hurting her. Hey, you back? Yeah, she's back. Well, I mean, she's dead. And here's another haunted chest. Oh, th th it doesn't matter if I open it or not. Ghost girls come out of it, wh whatever I do, I see. Yeah, they like leap. Is that like a little cry when they vanish? That's sad. Ah! You horrible! Ugh. This is terrible, they don't even explode into blood mist anymore. Now, blood mist is what made it all worth it, you know? I got up in, mor in the morning for the blood mist. Huh? Yeah, Abner, I gotta say, this is a very labyrinthine, uh, I don't know, castle you want to take over? I want to think about getting some renovations done. I mean, that's what I think, at least. Anyway, we have to stop this guy before he brings one of the old ones into the world. It'll be kind of like the case of, uh, what's it called? Carter? Like, Adam Rudolph Carter or something? It was, a, it was an H.P. Lovecraft story. After I, um, uh, read it, I was... Rather, this was not after I re read it, because I was already like, uh, this was rather, actually, yeah, this was after I read it. After I read it, I was uh, exposed to Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and I was shocked at just how much that story seemed to have in common with it. They both, for example, were basically stories about a young guy who's a fairly normal guy who got involved with an evil alchemist who had lived for hundreds of years 
like disguised as a normal person who the locals distrusted, who had a l huge evil alchemical laboratory beneath his house where he lived. Although, of course, in Amnesia the Dark Descent, he doesn't live in a house, he lives in a huge castle. But, well, th there was a lot of these sorts of commonalities. I, I don't think it was... Uh oh I don't think it was a coincidence, either. Oh, there's Abner. Uh, that means Poe's probably in here somewhere. So, are you guys going to keep the gum girls around? Make them into, like, your servants or something? If so, you know, that, that that's fine. Oh, fog. That means something. It means a save point. Yeah, I don't like how sort of disjointed the levels feel now. Look at those gargoyles in the background. It's no wonder their candles are out when we're in this weather, though, is it? First of all, we'll see if there's anything hidden above us. Uh, no. There, there wasn't. So, we're just gonna go this way, then. Yeah, it's nice seeing these eyeball block people in 3D now. Uh-oh. Jump! We made it, actually. I didn't expect to. Hey. No regrets. Killing the demon bats. They seem a lot less hateful this time around. Maybe it's just because I'm a lot less bitter. I don't know. It, it's anything's possible. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff that we did back in the original Shantae. Back in those long gone, long gone days. You see, there would no monkey powers would save us now. Not with those spikes, right? Oh, it's a spider girl. Shantae is a spider girl too, you know. W would she still attack us if we were a spider girl too? Hello? She's not actually attacking us, to be fair. No, she is, she is. <laughs> Laugh it up. All right, here's what we'll do. Okay, this is not good, actually. Could we take her out this way? No. This way! No, okay, so... Some fights, you gotta know, you gotta pick your fights. No, actually, here's what we'll do. Uh, yeah. No, no, gotta choose your fights. Gotta pick your fights. Gotta pick your battles. Not all battles are winnable, not all battles are worth it. You know? You know how it is. Come on. You let us right into that one. God, more of these things. They're carrying chandeliers now, really? Okay, you know what? Let's just get it. Let's get out of here. This is a terrible place for a party. This is the worst place, in fact, for a party. Well, at least those guys are just dying. Hey, hey. Okay, so that one didn't die. So not all of them are dying to die again. Oh, those undead folks. You can never be sure what they want in life because they're dead. You know, I guess this is a somewhat more... Oh, dear! A somewhat more plausible end of the world than, say, a, uh, you know, preacher, like, on the street corner who's just ranting about how the end days are near. You know, we, I've dealt with a number of those in my day. Um, but what I find a sort of... Well, I guess what I should say is that this isn't more plausible in, like, real-life terms, but there's, like, actually a credible threat here. We know what the Hypno Baron is capable of. All sorts of spooky dark magic. So it's very possible that he is, uh, you know, busy summoning some kind of creature from the, from the, from the depths. Hey. Oh, no! Get up here! Get it! Okay. I'm pretty sure there's an achievement for this. There is. It was a totally worthless achievement. It strikes me as totally arbitrary. Now, if this were in Risky's Revenge when charging through them as a... As an elephant made a lot of sense? Well, then I would understand why there's an achievement, but here? This strikes me as insane. Anyway, soon we're gonna make back all the money we spent at the item shop. I mean, on the... on our latest uh, bottle of shampoo. You know that Shantae's probably showering a lot since she's gonna... since she gets so sweaty from all this. Where are these guys even coming from? I thought they might be leaping out of that door over there. But you saw that they weren't. Oh, well. 
Ah, we are not doing so hot. This is not a safe place. Not a safe place for parties. Transform! You know, Abner, Poe, I hope once you guys own this castle, which you probably will after Shantae does all the work, I hope that you're consider, say, renovating a little. Like, we don't, we don't need all these, uh, all these collapsing platforms and stuff. Just put in a bridge, okay? Well, oh well, yeah, I'll take a mega potion. Hmm. We don't have enough money for this. Um, wait, yeah, we do have a dryad dance. See, hold on. We never tried turning into a dryad. Oh, I see. I agree, Shantae. This is a great dance. You know what other dance we have I didn't realize we had? We have a healing dance, don't we? Okay, I need to keep these things in mind. Otherwise, it's just like money I'm thrown down the hole. You know, I mean, it doesn't matter if I've bought something if I never use it. See, she said at that time in a kind of like cocky way, like, yeah, transform. You wish you could transform, uh, but you can. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. All right, this one up, I'm gonna jump this. No! Well, let's try that again and not screw up. I mean, that's the goal, you know, is to not screw up. Now, maybe you want to screw up, and I'm not judging you for that, but I am, because why would you want to screw up? That doesn't make any sense, you filthy m lunatic. Ret to go, huh, Shantae? Well, of course you are. Anyway, now we can turn magic into health. I like that formula. I mean, I don't know how you feel about it. Maybe you think it's a dumb and bad formula. I like it, though. I think it's a good formula. <sighs> Ready. This isn't going to be another desert tower. This place is not as bad as that tower. Well, I mean, from a very sort of objective standpoint, it's a lot worse. This is a much... I mean, you know, right, right now we're in, like, the charnel houses of the world. Come to think of it, I seem to remember that there was a video game or something from some years ago, or like an expansion to an RPG or something called like the Charnel House of Europe, which actually, which used the um, sort of concept of uh, the, like the Holocaust and guilt over that and that kind of stuff in like a supernatural horror fantasy, dark fantasy RPG setting, which is pretty interesting. I've never seen that done before. You know, it seems to... No! Okay, we're gonna do it this time. Must have been all those ghosts of the dead who were upset about what I was talking about there. Like, come on, why you guys do talk that way, Mackerel Clones? Come on, Mackerel But it's not disrespectful, though. It's it was making it made it was an interesting attempt at making a point in a place in a medium in a way that normally, you know, intellectual kind of points aren't made. You know, about like the human condition and politics and stuff. Whatever. Let's just come on. Let's get out of here. Come on. Eyeballs. That was so narrow that even Monkey Shantae barely fit through. Talk about narrow. Am I right, guys? Am I right or am I right? Well, we'll let that fire clear. Oh, I know how we can hurt these guys. With fire. Maybe? Could it work? They have a broad reach, those spider girls do. Maybe I should call them spider women. They're probably adults. But then again, I don't know, Shantae apparently is only like 16, isn't she? Hypno Baron! Your chanting days are over, mister! Ah, it's you! No matter. My incantation is already complete. She gasps. Tremble in fear as you witness the end of the world. Behold! The creature of unspeakable horror! No, no! <laughs> Yo! Huh? Squid Baron? Check it!
I've reached fifth boss status. That's one step away from top billing. I'd be surprised if they didn't name a game after me. Shante versus the important Squid Baron, they'd call it. No, Squid Baron's Quest, starring Shante. In fact, just make it a Squid Baron game. I'll even let you get in as cheap DLC if you ask nicely. You can be a color palette swap. 99 cents sounds about right. You're out of your mind, Squid Baron. First of all, the titles always have a colon or an and the in the name. Second, a Squid Baron spin-off game would only appeal to a subset of the same audience, so it's gonna sell like buns. How embarrassing. And third, swapping my color palette for yours would make you red and purple, which you already are. Wah! How dare you! Let's do this up all crazy style! Cue the funky boss track and come at me! I tell you what, they've... <laughs> Roddy Tops and her brothers made a fool out of you, Hypno Baron. A fool out of you! Okay, um... I think this will help us here. What are you doing? You just throwing a tantrum? I mean, you're pretty good at that, Squid Baron. So where have you been? You've been like in another dimension? Was he just like on vacation with some interns somewhere? And like, um, you know, then he just suddenly got called away and was turned into a... Okay, this is not going so well. And he suddenly got, and then just suddenly abruptly he found himself here. And he doesn't question it at all. Because he's just like, oh, well, yeah, you know, it's just, it's just, you know, typical fifth boss, fifth boss, fifth boss, fifth boss status. She sells seashells down by the seashore. You see, I tell you, I'm pretty good at the, at the tongue twisters. I can be. You know how it is. You see, all the other times I've played Shantae, I always underutilize the magic. This time, I'm not repeating that mis- I didn't jump high enough. Not that mistake. You gonna come up here now? Yeah, he is. You know him. Of course he is. Hey, Squiddy. Squiddy. Squiddy, I'll give you a chance to not get beat up again. But he doesn't want to. He's proud of his boss status. So how are your kids doing, Squid Baron? I mean, now is not the best time to talk about it while you're trying to kill me and everything. I just am kind of, just kind of curious, you know? I mean, we are old buds, just, just, want, just, just asking. You been doing any treasure hunting lately? I mean, I know you're a treasure hunter. Actually, I thought that all of these barons were treasure hunters. Wasn't that how they were introduced originally, as a, as a group of treasure hunters? Like the Squid Baron, the Hypno Baron, and the Ammo Baron were treasure hunters. Are they not doing that so much anymore? I mean, they were like rivals to Mimic, weren't they? Well, anyway, so sorry, Squid Baron, but you know how it goes. Well, I guess that's it for the world ending, uh... Interesting. So... He's not giving up yet, is he? No, the Hypno Baron's still going strong. I'll take out um, the short guy first. Well, actually, they're both about the same height, aren't they? Well, at least this time you aren't trying any dumb mind games. That's what I kind of thought his trademark was, that Hypno Baron. You know, your guys are a lot less dangerous together. I'm just doing a poor job dodging your attacks. Okay, okay. So you're getting a little more dangerous? Wow, that only restores one heart? Yeah, I'm not sure if these that dance is worth the magic. But when you get a lot of them together, they can restore more than that, can't they? Well, I mean, of course they can. They, they, they are. I feel like I should take down the Squid Baron. The Squid Baron's the muscle. The Hypno Baron really is kind of a fragile guy. I mean, he's pretty thin, because he's a skeleton. Skeletons don't have much meat on their bones, you know? The heavy hitter, the brawn, like, like, squid, squiddy there is, is the, is the brawn, the brains, that's the hypno guy, that's the hypno guy. Even though skeletons don't have brains either, I think it just goes to show what an unusual skeleton he is. 
Because most skeletons also can't fly or use magic. I mean, he's some kind of lich. You know, he still gave up his humanity to be a dark creature of the night. You know, typical lich business. Gonna shoot a beam at me? Oh, he is, but from the other side, I see. Yeah, you know, I think these two are a lot less dangerous than they used to be back in the day. Maybe it's because Shantae's better at using magic now herself. Hey, Hypno. Hypno Baron, you, 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 you doing well today? You feeling okay? It's interesting, these health extensions in this one are like, I, you know, they strike me as a lot less essential than they were back in the original Shantae. In the original Shantae, if you did not get the health extensions, it was like impossible. Although I imagine it would be still pretty hard here if I didn't have them. I would have gotten game over several times over now. So I shouldn't be saying that, but it, it certainly is overall not as difficult as the original Game Boy Color one. Alternatively, maybe I'm just really better at video games now? Probably not. Even though I've been playing them quite a lot lately. As you may have noticed, you know, if, you, if you've been watching this channel. Has anyone been watching this channel? I don't know, I can't predict the future. This won't be up for like a year. Maybe by then I'll have a million subscribers. I'll be the I'll be the top tier YouTuber. I won't be, I know. I'm I'm joking around guys, okay? Give me a break. Okay, well. Hey Hypno Baron! 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 We're both playing with fire now, with fire magic. Well, okay, Hypno Baron's fire magic's probably somehow like some kind of death magic. I can tell you, if only we had healing magic. We just cast heal on him, and that would do so much damage. That's how I beat, like, the Giga Slitch and, like, Bravely Default, was through all the... was through all the healing magic. Well, Hypno Baron, I like how you... he rolls with the blows instead of being angry that he was tricked. Oh my gosh, I think I blew him up for good. I hope you're happy now, Hypno Baron. He might have been a big jerk face, but deep down he just wanted to be loved. Oh, he will be. You see, I summoned him here to option his merchandising rights. Say what? Squid Bear in hats and mugs and t-shirts. Crew necks and raglans. But... Whatever happened to ripping open the fabric of space-time and washing away humankind in a sea of eternal woe? Who told you that? No, it's gracing the fabric of leisure time and blowing away humankind in a sea of heavy weave 100% cotton comfort. Oh. Squid Bear and Merch will fund evil for all eternity. <laughs> I'm going home to take a very long, very hot bath. Not a bad idea. All clear. Oh, yet another transformation. My thank you, O oh people of the genie realm. What will this one let me do? Harpy! They're all coming back for this one. This is a, a sort of deluxe Shantae. And yet it feels, well, I don't know, it feels like something. We're still missing at least one, though. Now it can fly up all those spike-filled areas. It controls just like it did in the original Shantae, too. Neat! Congratulations! You've thwarted evil five times in a single day! That's gotta be a new personal best. Being a genie that's only half hero sure isn't easy. I know what you meant, and thanks. But now, I really owe it to Uncle to get that final component. So what is it anyway, Uncle? According to this... Oh dear! Hmm. The blueprint shows a hand crank mechanism, but that's no good. Here's where your old uncle gets his chance to shine. Uh, 
That's right, we're going to improvise. Why turn the wheel at all when we can rig up a hamster wheel to do the work for us? I don't know, that sounds like bad news for some hamster. Hey, I know, a regular hamster would get tired and need to rest, right? But a zombie hamster will happily run all day long. Brilliant, it's settled then. The zombie hamster will be our perpetual energy source. And I'll forge the hamster wheel out of iron to reduce the heat on his little monster toes. We're seriously going with this plan? Uh, okay. Roddy Tops, this sounds like your department. Where can I find a zombie hamster? Dunno. How about I just get a regular one and bite it? I think that's how Poe got his. If your brother already has a zombie hamster, why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> uh, and what about the iron slab? For that, you'll need to ask around town. Got it. One zombie hamster and one iron slab coming right up. You have any idea about the slab bowl? The iron is pretty common. I'm sure someone here in town knows where to find some. My brother Poe is a zombie hamster you can borrow. He's at Hypno Baron's castle. I didn't see him while I was there, but I believe you. You seen an iron slab, dance lady? Legends tell of a relic which allowed the harpies to fire shots through the hair. Or through the air, not through the hair. That's a different thing. Those cute zombie brothers were spotted over by the castle. So everybody just knows about the Hypno Baron's ca castle now? Okay. A pink blob-like woman came looking for you. She's hanging out around here somewhere. Oh. I just saw the Azure Knight over at the item shop. Wow, that's... We're moving up in terms of celebrities popping into town. Movie trivia. Have you seen the animated classic, The Little Bog Sahagin? It's the classic tale of a fish girl who dreams of marrying an iron slab. Fun fact, it's a true story. The fish girl's underwater cave really exists somewhere beneath the desert oasis. You could blast open the passageway, then you could see the object of her affection. Well, I can't. Long ago, mermaids could blast powerful bubbles by waving their tails. These days, only elderly sea creatures know the technique. Yeah, Shanta used to be able to do that, too. The Adventure Man was sucked into a sewer pipe beneath Main Street. Yeah, I know. Oh, you're the blobby person. I was hoping he was one of the gum girls. I hear there's a secret at the top of the factory, but you need a way to hover up there. Oh, hey, honey melon. Just me, Grandma Blobfish, same as before. My grandkids are off watching the moving picture shows. Do you think my hat looks too old-fashioned? The grandkids said I need to find a new hat. I don't know, something more modern is called for, I suppose. Can you help me out again? Find me a hat that looks nice. I'll wait right here, same as before. Of course I can, Grandma Blobfish. Let's go open another door. Oh, I'm out of the keys, so I couldn't have opened another one anyway. Very well. I can live with that. Smash. We got the item shop, half house, sky. Let's go to the item shop first, because that's where the, um, uh, that guy is. Wait a minute, you're not... Oh wait, you're the Azure Knight who the Adventure Man mentioned to us. I am the Azure Knight. You! Were you sent forth by the Crimson Knight to retrieve his regal headwear? I would not yield it to a knave such as Yarn. How evermstance, I would be inclined to bequeath it to you. Shout thine providest me with a fine vorpal blade, doused in the tears of a saddened newborn orangutan. Orangutan, I mean, but hold on, thou shalt thine shalt thou providest me. God, thine is the possessive, thou is the uh, is the subjective, thee is the objective. Keep it strict. You you know you're not a real medieval knight hero at all, are you, Azure Knight? 
thou might procure said blade by descending to the ocean depths, into the putrid sewers, and to the place where the adventure man will challenge you. If thou art successful in surmounting his cerebral tournament of trickery and deception, and deliver unto me the vorpal blade before the setting sun touches the vast ocean, the regal headwear shall be thine. I see that thou hast procured the vorpal blade. It really wasn't all that much of mental work, but yay. You are both noble and brave, and so I bestow a and so I bestow upon thine thou head, thy regal headwear is promised. Wear it upon thine head henceforth. I'm starting to think this is a phony accent. Yeah, me too. Well, this is not what I was expecting. It says Foxy Grandma above the bill. Yeah, that doesn't really suit Shantae, does it? Anyway, I'll be on my way. So where... There she is. You found me a new hat? Yeah. Oh dear. Is this what folks are wearing these days? Okay, if you think I should put it on, then here goes. Foxy Grandma. Oh sweet mama, I look hotter than a... Than a fricassee... Fricassee tube worm? What? Okay. Foxy Grandma! Words to live by! This hat's giving this old gal thoughts of springtime, if you know what I'm getting at. <laughs> In fact, I think I feel a romantic song coming on. Now, I hope this ain't too hot and steamy for general audiences. Here goes. Um. I get it, she vomited out the bubble. Oh dear, now that didn't go to plan. That mermaid bubble must have been stuck somewhere deep down inside along with my feelings. Well, you can keep it. All right, now we can have some proper action. Hey, Sky. I'm gonna go be a mermaid and smash blocks. Yeah, they're just some like, they're just a bunch of LARPers and they're hanging out in Scuttle Town. And that one woman who wanted the protein was pretty intense, so she might not have been kidding around. She might have been perfectly serious when, in her, you know, get up. She wasn't kidding. She, she, she wasn't, she wasn't in this as like a, you know, as a, as a role-playing thing. The only role she was playing was who she is. No, that's not a breakable barrier. But there are a lot of them down here, I'll tell you what. Or I thought there were anyway, I seem to remember there being a lot of them. I seem to remember them being the main reason I couldn't navigate this whole area, in fact. Yeah, so they were. Let's see. Oh! These one-eyed fish, I remember them. I remember killing them too with bubbles. And as before, they turn into skeletons before they die. Like, we blast the skin off of their bones. It's pretty nasty stuff. You know, these secrets really aren't deeply hidden or anything. A lot of these, you know, if we just had these powers the first time, it's just like a slight diversion, you know? Okay, so what's in here? Transform. Nothing? Of course there's something in here. There... Right? Oh, so there was, there was something in here. Huh. Now the question is, how do we get up there? Is there like even any opening up there? I don't see any. Unless we can get through it. this little crevice here as a mouse. But I didn't think we could. Well, let's try this. So, yeah, I still don't see any way to get up to that chest. So, I guess what we're going to have to do is, um... Total restoration! 
I did not mean to use the total restoration dance. Oh well, it's fine. I mean, I lost most of my magic, so not really, but you know, whatever, I'll get it back. It's fine. At least we know how what it does now. It totally restores her health. Wait, didn't she shop total restoration in the previous one too? I think she did when she uh, drank the health potion. Is there some like barrier we can break through here? No, no there's not. Well, I have no idea how to get to that treasure chest. They've got me stumped. What are these things? They're like living mines. Who's ever heard of such an abomination? They just let anybody in. Like, they let wild animals in from the outside, and it doesn't matter. Like, this whole place is just a, built into a big open cave still full of living things. Like, they haven't, say, cleared out the cave so that it's not full of living things anymore. They just totally built it in the local ecosystem and don't care about how non-sterile it is. I mean, it's just another one of the reasons you wouldn't want to, want to buy any products from this horrible factory. Oh! Why, there's a block we couldn't break before. I say we go break it. What do you think? I think you should agree with me or you're done. No offense or anything. Nah, JK, I totally intended offense. Still standing, huh? Let's see. A key, is that it? Okay. I mean, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with just getting a key. Transform! Art is its own reward. When it's good. That's how art works. I know these things since I'm an artist. So you say there is some secret at the top of this place, didn't you? How high up does it go, anyway? I mean, I remember that it took a while to get to the top. I remember that. But I don't remember just how high it was. I don't think we're at the top yet, anyway. No stakes, huh? Oh. Nah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. I just whip this one. Put this one into shape. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess I'll just continue the climb. It's rather peculiar that these gators seem to have some kind of, I suppose, like, security job. Because it's, it's not like if they see you, they trigger an alarm. They're just like, oh, it's her. Let me just chase her for a little while. This must be the secret I heard about. Dance? Wait, we can turn into one of those horrible little demons now? We can. It's very strange. You can only move uh, left and right. Unlike those horrible demons who can go whatever direction they so please. How do we get out of here, though? Well, I suppose we're gonna fly out of here. Right? No? Oh, wait, you can fall through platforms. I see, you have to press down and X to do it. All this time I thought you couldn't do that. Huh! Well, it just goes to show you learn stuff every day. Anyway, now that we can turn into that, uh, I suppose those horrible little demons that I've hated all these years really are bats, huh? Oh, this must be the secret. Ah, this is one for the harpy. Transform! Oh, I see. It's also one for the bat. Well, um, harpy again, I guess, right? Yeah. Is there even anything down here? Well, this whole area is like a maze. Well, let's take the high. No, let's take the low road first. I mean, we're already here. Might as well. Oh. Well, I guess we're gonna take the high road first after all. No, I don't think we are. I don't think we could possibly get through it. 
These are some deadly spikes, though. I mean, these rival Mega Man spikes. You know, that's Chante. She can take being shot, lit on fire, electrocuted. But if she just lightly scrapes against some spikes, it's all over. Yeah, she's just gonna run right into the spikes. Yeah, I don't think there's all that much we can do in here. The issue is, though, if that wasn't the secret that was here, what is? I mean, that's the kind of elaborate secret I would have expected in the original Shantae. In fact, so it is. I'm not going to give up on it just yet. It's disturbing to see some of those cans in the background, though, as if they might still be processing things here. I mean, clearly they're not. It's really weird that we can't move up or down in this form. Can we do anything? Nope, just move side to side. Yeah, let's see what happens if we do warp to the next area. Will we go down the slide again? So we will. And the cans are back. Q canned laughter. That was a great joke, am I right? Am I right? No, am I, am I wrong? Am I very wrong? Well, my, my bad. So what are these cans- what are even in these cans at this point? Anything? They just empty? I, I hope so. I mean, I don't want- I hope there are not more of the same that was in there before, you know? That stuff was just in, inhumane. Although I see they still have, um... Gators throwing out the fish they used to make the counterfeit mermaids. Now that I think about it, when Shantae was breaking these cans earlier, what was happening to the women inside? Were they, like, thrown into the air? I, mean, I certainly hope they weren't hurt. I mean, they obviously were hurt. Let's be real, look at this place. I mean, they're obviously, you know, hurt if they're already tumbling around in there and have been through that factory. They'll be, like, so dizzy, they'll be, like, dazed, you know? Wow, I'm doing really neat, this, really well this time. Ten out of ten, five stars. A million, best, best, best of show. Best days. Magical. Five out of five. Ten years. M Rick and Morty together. Hundred years, Rick and Morty. Ah, I hit one. Pretty close, though. Dang it, that was actually the very last can. I almost got through there with taking no damage. Well, um... Huh. I know there'll be nothing up there. I'm still gonna check it out anyway. Yeah, I'm just fighting a lot of sky up here. Still, there's more secrets around here. There must be, since there's still items I haven't gotten. Like, maybe that item that lets me attack as a harpy is around here. Once you had that in the original Shantae, it was pretty much endgame. Like, forget it. Like, it wasn't, like, challenging anymore. You could, you could take down every single opponent. And you could get over every single opponent. You had a good way to escape, a good way to get through every area. You pretty much won. Oh, I see. There's like a little passage right here, is there? God, I never noticed that before. Well, this isn't what I need to get through it. I need a uh, monkey one. Here we go. Monkey! Try to climb down that clump. No, there we go. See? It just goes to show you just need to look a little more carefully, and you'll find things you didn't see before. Yeah, this is good. I'll take it. Is there... You know what? That's enough. That's enough for this place. I'm sick of this level. Let's just go to Mermaid Falls and be done with it. Come on, Sky. Where is that little, like, passage we could never get through before? It was... Was it up even higher than this? So it was. It was right there. And I think I see now how we can get into it. Ah, come on! By doing something like this. I sure hope this is the right elevation. To think that our greatest enemy after all these years would end up being our ally. Our greatest enemy, I mean, being the bats. So I suppose we can attack now, right? Yep, yeah, we can... Shantae... You know, Shantae, I like how, you know, you're not afraid to get your hands or teeth dirty by doing things like, say, eating bugs. Specifically, eating centipedes. 
Okay, well, wait for the platform to come back. Shantae runs very quickly as a mouse, but then again, mice do scurry pretty fast. They scurry in a hurry! Ah, wait a second before I... You know, I probably could have made it, but is it really worth the risk? We've come this far. I, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to risk it. Ah, this really does remind me of Wario Land Shake It. The music, the whole being in a jungle, and everything else. At the same time, though, I do kind of feel like something's missing here. A certain something the other Shantae games have. As much as I love the uh, overall aesthetic of this one. Also, I realized earlier I've been talking about those little numbers that pop up as points. That was just my bad, of course. There are, you know, not points at all. They're, um, the amount of damage you're doing. It's so great to finally get to the bottom of this mis big mystery. The big mystery of what exactly, how we get up here, and what was in here. And now we're going to. I think we're going to get to that one door to the genie realm, right? I think so. Think Shantae's gonna find her mother? Maybe someday. I could imagine it happening in this one. Might, you know. But personally, I kind of expect that'll be the end of the series. It'd be a fitting finale, right? But I thought, you know, it was a big deal in the original Shantae that if she moved into the genie realm, she'd never be able to see all her human friends again. But in this one, there are portals of the genie realm all over the freaking place. What the heck? I mean, I know that, I mean, maybe the Genie Realm has recently adopted a policy more favorable to immigration. In which case, they're very different from the world recently. Keep in mind that I'm recording this in the first half of 2017. Maybe things will be different by the time that you listen to this, oh esteemed viewer. Okay. Wow, look how tall those guys look when you're this size. Wow. It just goes to show, you know, it helps build empathy for mice. Because to them, the whole world is full of giants. Of course, mice don't live very long, so it's a good thing we're not really a mouse. Their Shantae would... Well, Shantae, with all likelihood, is not going to have great life expectancy. Because I don't know about the state of medical technology in Sequin Land, but she lives a very dangerous lifestyle. Sooner or later, it's inevitable that it's going to get her killed. These are cruel facts, but they're facts that we have to face. Yes! They even replenish your hearts all the way in this one. I'm pretty sure they did not used to do that. Well, we'll be on our way then. Maybe Shante sees those sparkles there because it's like an instinctual thing now that she's a mouse. Kind of like how in Sly Cooper, he sees the... Um, is there no platform that comes to this one? I guess not. Kinda like how in Sly Cooper he sees the, uh, like, not sure what you'd call them, but those thief sparkles? Is there something in here that we couldn't get to before that we can get to now? I don't think so. Yeah, there's not. Well, hey, Sky, could you fly into the genie realm for a sec? She actually can! Great! I 10 out of 10. Five stars. Perfect. A million... Great day. I'm kind of curious about what happens if we go back to Cape Crustacean. But I feel like we have other things to do, so fine. Let's check it out. We can at least get that iron slab, right? Wait a minute, do we already have the iron slab? It looked like we had every item here. I mean, a few of them we can get more of, but yeah. Hold on, Shantae. No, we didn't get any kind of item like that here. But how could that really even be here if... Well, I don't know. Well, we'll see if I when I find a body of water. Here we go. Um... I'll let him explode. And I did. Hey. Okay, yeah, let's just get out of here. Let's just go through the... Oh, hold on, there is a sunken soul. I know it's the soul of some evil person, but it does make you wonder what it's doing down here. 
And what was up with that dream Shantae had? I mean, nothing has come of it so far. Even the evil, the horrific evil that was being summoned by the, uh... Wait, that's an iron slab? Hold on, that doesn't look like an iron slab, it looks like a bust! A shiny slab that will someday be a hamster wheel. I mean, if you say so, Shantae, this looks like a bust to me. Anyway, I mean... Maybe they see- maybe she just sees everything purely in the terms of, like, its practical application. So she looks at- she doesn't see a bust. No, she doesn't see the craftsmanship or the art. She just sees a, a potential way of getting an iron slab by hammering it out, you know? Anyway, I don't think we're gonna get much more while we're around here. Now, there might be something we could find if we turn into a harpy. Some of my best memories of the original Shantae are flying around over the desert in harpy form. But somehow, I don't think we're gonna get much that here. Yeah, I don't think we are. Here we are. Strikes that cute little pose and then begins flapping away. This better be something good. Um, yeah, I was pretty good. I was hoping it would be the item that would let Shantae attack as a harpy. But I'll take what I can get. I mean, this place is a lot better now that Wilbur is gone. Really, this whole desert is. There haven't been any sandstorms since then. I mean, that's surely just coincidence, but... Oh, look at Sky and Shantae. They're so, so cute. And they look at each other like that and it's so, like, whimsical. Ah. Oh, whimsy. Man, we just get further north every day, don't we? Well, Cape Crustacean... I don't know, I am kind of... Let's go, let's check out Cape Crustacean. Just one more time, let's just check it out, you know? Yeah. Let's check it out. On your marks. Get set. Go. Yeah, this would be a lot... E so there is still a race going on here, huh? There must is, there's apparently stuff I missed here. It's sort of odd that the uh, Hypno Baron still has ships here, though, isn't it? I see what I missed. You can go inside of all of these. I just didn't realize it because I didn't understand the controls when I was here the first time. Well, I mean, all right. Let's do it. You know, if you couldn't turn into a harpy, you wouldn't be able to get out. Actually, you could probably get out as a monkey. Right? Well, let's find out. Yeah, you can. That's fortunate. Well, guess we're just to have to clear out the area through that method that I just demonstrated. I just never played a game where you had to do anything more than press down to go through, um... Through, like, thin floors. Are there any on this one? Doesn't seem like it. Anyway, looking through those windows, I don't notice any doorways anywhere. You see, for this sort of thing, a tutorial could actually be useful. Is this the kind of game mechanic I would normally take for granted as being, like, you know, simple? Can we get on top of this? Nah, we can't. Probably nothing up there anyway. Why would we want to get on top of that? Well, actually, you know, it does look like those soldiers are falling from somewhere, right? Now, there's nothing in there. Nothing but soldiers. Most of them are charging in the wrong direction, though. Yeah, you see, at this point, it gets particularly video gamey because we're able to go back to this fleet even though we blew it up. It's possible the Ammo Baron just has lots of air fleets and we're just going to blow them all up. I mean, I wouldn't put it past him or past Shantae. Like, I wouldn't put it past Shantae to do that or past the Ammo Baron to have lots and lots of air fleets. Like, way more than any one man ever needs. One man only needs a few air fleets. Now, I guess if you're a, you know, modern-day Napoleon, you might want a few more. Except modern-day Napoleon implies there's something kind of cool about the Ammo Baron, which I... I mean, there might be. I'm just not entirely confident that there is, so I shouldn't be saying that. I mean, his hell. I mean, I like his color scheme. I mean, that counts for something, right? He doesn't have horrible aesthetic tastes. There's no reason to ever risk a jump ever again now. What this part? I remember this part. 
I remember this part. I remember when this part happened. It's kind of an interesting compromise between old school one hit and one. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's the part that got me. Well, it's kind of like a compromise between sort of old school um, one hit damage, like one hit kills, and modern day uh, difficult, you know, challenge sensibilities. It's old school in that one hit sends you back to the last checkpoint, but it's modern day in that it doesn't kill you, it just takes away a small bit of health. However, you still don't want to mess up because of the, you know, it, it puts you back so far. Actually, you know, no, here's what I'll... No, 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 not the bat, the harpy. I'm really surprised they call those things bats, because those things are not bats. So, let me get this straight. That cannon was just shooting at the same ship it was on. Now, see, that's what happens when it's all automated. When it's all automated, the cannons sometimes shoot at their own craft because they don't have the ability to sort of think through things in the same way. Oh. Here's what we'll do. That didn't work. Well, um, are any of these particularly fast? The, the monkey is pretty fast. In fact, here's what the monkey can do. If it wants, if it'll just cling to the... There we go! Ugh. I have to time it just right, but the issue is once you're the monkey and you're on the wall, you're like sliding down and it's hard enough to stay attached to this wall at all. Oh, I went in several seconds too early. Yeah, you know, I was just a few milliseconds off timing it on a timer, and so I'm done. This is not worth the trouble. Yeah, you know, Shantae's foiled a lot of recurring villain schemes in this one. That's really what the whole thing is. It's like a... It's almost like a, you know, just a celebration of all the stuff Shantae has done before. There isn't that much that's really new to it. See, why don't the bayonets bother Shantae? Like, Shantae can't handle, you know, is an elephant charging into the skeletons with their swords. But the bayonets, oh no, those are fine. Am I the only one who thinks that's odd? Well, anyway, um, now we have a way to... Oh, this is the wrong one. I mean, the, you know, that mouse's jump relative to its own size is pretty impressive, but it's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the monkey jump. Oh, is this going to be like the green stone, but for red gems? Probably. Oh, no, it can turn red gems into hearts, eh? It's a good way of keeping the gems as val you know, valuable items even after you um, have already gotten, you know, maxed out your money. Hey, I can fall through this floor, can I? Yeah, I can. I didn't know how to do that before, and so I missed this area. You know, this is the first time I've ever seen a flower growing out of the floor. Like, of a big metal metallic structure. I know that plants are very tough. Like, you can see plants growing in, like, construction areas. It's a nice little sound effect they have for when you discover a secret area. Oh god, this is filthy. Oh jeez, look at that color. I sure hope it's not water from the toilets that they're storing in here until the ship lands. Gosh, why am I even saying that? Let's not even think about that possibility. Although, you know, I'm sure it's someone's fetish. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna climb up. Nah, it's not gonna work out. Okay, well, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn into a little harpy. I'm gonna fly over here. Right? Come on. No, that's not what we're gonna do. Well, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna get in there? Oh, I know what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. You see, I should have turned into a harpy to begin with, rather than, instead of a mermaid. Because by being a harpy, okay, I would have been able to fly up here. See? See? This room requires... Oh. I was gonna say it requires all of these different, or, you know, a large different array of skills that Shantae has acquired. But at this point, I don't even know what I'm expected to do. Maybe I can only get in here by entering from the other side or something? I, I mean, I can only get to that treasure chest. So, I'll keep that in mind. Now, I still don't want know what to do at all for that one treasure chest that I was dealing with before. 
in uh, Mermaid Falls, where there seemed to be just no possible way to get to it. I understand now the purpose of these blocks. They'll let me move that block that's down, that's down beneath us. They'll let me move that one. Because there'll be ground there for her to stand on. You know, give me ground to stand on and I will move the earth? Yeah. I don't, did I, I, did I figure this out last time? I don't think I did, because I don't remember this one. Yeah. This is a room worthy of the original Shantae in terms of easiness to get through Ignis, you know? Okay, well, I'll just slide to the bottom. Very slowly now. Go! Very slowly now. Well, now I just need to get on the other side of this one again. Um, without being smushed on the top. Be oh! Because if you're smushed in the top in this one, it doesn't kill you, but the platform breaks. Which, in this case, would be as good as killing you. So, let's not let that happen. Right? Right. Alright, Shantae, just slowly sliding down to death spikes. I mean, clearly they're taking after Mega Man with the spike thing. Go! This is gonna take many tries, and you're gonna be like, Mackerel Phones, you suck and I hate you. Why is there... Why... How dare you not be perfect on the first time and record this and put it on YouTube? And you're right. I'm gonna cut out the other times I fail, probably. I mean, I might not. You know, if my rambling is weird enough. Probably won't be, though. I mean, my rambling can be pretty weird. But there's a, you know, sometimes it's not as weird as it needs to be to stay, to keep things, to keep it all fresh, to keep my miserable abject failures fresh, you know? And abject failures are best when they're, when they're as fresh as green bananas. Well, actually, bananas come in many different colors. Was that worth it? Um, yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, now I just need to get back across. Suicide! I know it's a dark, wait, you know, subject to broach, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. The annoying thing is I could have got that when I was here the first time, but instead I'm only getting all these health upgrades, like, after the fact. After the point where I was at where I could have and perhaps should have gotten them. Oh, well. So no use trying to keep the cat, you know, in the bag. The cat's already out of the bag. The beans are already spilled. Beans are just littering the floor right now. It's actually a lot easier to flutter around these corridors when you can turn into a harpy. Oh, now we're on the roof. Yeah, we never got here before. But looking at the roof, this doesn't look like a castle so much as it looks like a... mansion. A huge mansion, obviously. Almost as big as, what was it called, like Cackle Manor or something? Remember that one? You would if you've... Oh, there's Poe. Hey, Poe. Poe! Long time no see. Hello, my lady. I just can't get enough of this castle. Incredible, right? Well, it's a little on the scary side for me. Nah, I could see myself settling down in a place like this. <sighs> you sound a little troubled, Poe. Yeah, he's just my pet. He doesn't get along with this place at all. He likes to run and run, but around here, I don't know. He could wander off and get hurt, you know? I really want him to have a good time where he can be happy and get his wiggles out. I know just the place. You do? Really? In that case, here. Thanks. Aw, oh, isn't he cute? He has lots of spunk, so make sure he's got a nice big hamster wheel to run on, okay? Well, that time... First of all, he was spunk there, but... Second of all, the thing about the hamster wheel and running on the hamster wheel thing... Or, not that, that's not the problem. Problem is okay. Most of the time in this game's script, for some reason, they've not capitalized the O and K in OK, even though it is traditionally written as capital O and K, it's thought to be derived from a sort of... It's almost a, the era's equivalent of, say, that those stupid, you know, can I as cheeseburger intentional bad grammar things. But, Wi-Fi? What does this do? Nothing, as far as I can tell. Shantae, what does that do? Um, yeah. 
Yeah, hover horizontally, but what does the bat sonar do? Well, whatever. OK is thought to have originated as an abbreviation of all correct, which was like a... There was like this trend at the time of having pictures of like sort of dirty looking like poor people, and then they would have like these captions with were like grammatically incorrect, saying things like, well, like all correct and spelling it wrong. And it was thought that that was abbreviated and some of them is OK. So it got to the point where a lot of these were basically unintelligible if you didn't already know the joke. Because so if you saw OK, you wouldn't know what that was unless you knew that it stood for all correct from another one of them. But what can I say? Well, I guess we've gotten everything there is to get here. Let's leave. Yeah, let's go. I feel rather like the um, levels have... Their design has gotten kind of less detailed with each passing level. Well, I suppose the Hypno Baron's uh, ship was kind of cool. Or not the Hypno Baron, the Ammo Baron, my bad. They're all barons, one baron after another. In this barren ocean. It's not a barren ocean, it's full of life. Teeming with it, in fact. You don't even have to bend over to hit these guys in this one. In the original Shantae, that was a major source of difficulty, was the fact that to hit the even scuttle bats, you had to bend over. Another big problem was the fact that her hair didn't reach all that far in front of her, so you practically had to be touching the enemies to uh, hit them. Although in my experience, that's pretty common of 8-bit uh, action games. It's not something I'm a big fan of, so I'm glad that they've uh, changed that in this one. Well, well, really, they changed that early on. I mean, her hair had much better reach already in Risky's Revenge. Oh! Dang it, she's using her old tricks that Shantae was using back in the Pirate's Curse. That was totally Shantae's idea to use this stuff this way, though. And now Risky is just totally copying Shantae. What? Oh, scuttle- wait, you, you have boats that can move in lava? 